So chances are the reason you clicked on this video is because you're interested in learning a high income skill, something that's going to make you a lot of money. We're talking at least six figures a year. And I remember a few years ago looking this up on YouTube and trying to find high paying skills. And I was a little disappointed because a lot of the videos would say stuff like learn how to tell stories. And don't get me wrong here. Like storytelling is a pretty valuable skill. And technically I did just tell you a story. But if you send out your resume to a bunch of companies and you tell them you took a course in storytelling or you're a good storyteller or you got a storytelling degree chances are not a lot of them are going to be interested because the truth is nobody is going to hire you for storytelling it's one of those skills that amplifies the skills that you already have you have to have some kind of base skill and this is what a lot of youtube gurus won't tell you is many of the people who make a hundred thousand dollars plus a year you know six figures a year 10k a month whatever you want to call it started off with a base skill something practical to get their foot in the door. Once they had those base skills down, later on they figured out how to leverage, amplify, and basically just level up those skills so that they could make a lot more. And a lot of the time these gurus forget where they came from, they forget their base, and they try to sell you some kind of get rich quick skill because it's a lot easier to sell a $2,000 course that way. Now, luckily I did extensive research on what types of skills business owners and hiring managers are looking for out there, AKA, what types of skills are in high demand. And this is not me spreading misinformation. This is proven scientific facts that are peer reviewed by an imaginary committee that may or may not be inside of my brain. That's right. I've been getting a little bit lonely in quarantine lately. And today I'm going to be dropping some truth bombs. So if you learn some of these skills, they are incredibly valuable and just one of these skills on their own can pretty easily get you to 10K a month or 100,000 a year, whatever your goal is. And we're talking about directly making you money. Companies are thirsty for people who have these skills and you can go off on your own and start your own business if that's what you wanna do as well. Then later on down the line, once you have those base skills, you can learn other things like storytelling, how to make videos or how to lightly nudge the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. And by the way, guys, public service announcement for you everybody has been smashing the like button even though i tell you not to and you're totally ignoring the subscribe button only about 18 to 20 percent of you are subscribed what is going on with that so i highly recommend that you just pulverize the subscribe button and then after you're done with that ring the notification bell to celebrate and ignoring these steps not building some base skills usually is going to be a mistake the way i like to think about it is launching a rocket so if your rocket doesn't have a solid you know straight platform chances are if you try to launch it it's just gonna you know go like this and then fly into the side of a mountain however if you build that base you build that platform and then put the rocket on top of it it's just gonna go straight up once you got those base skills down it'll be so much easier to learn a skill like marketing youtube videos etc and that'll make it very easy for you to launch your rocket straight into orbit so number five on the list is going to be sales and i know what you're thinking most of my audience are introverts i'm an introvert as well and sales probably scares the heck out of you and like i said i'm an introvert as well but i'm extremely thankful that when i was younger i had the courage to get a sales job because the skills i learned from that job have improved pretty much every aspect of my life i can tell you it was one of the best decisions of my life and i feel so much gratitude to the universe that one of my dad's friends encouraged me to go for one of these jobs. And you'd be surprised, but some of the best salesmen I know, especially real estate agents, are surprisingly introverts. There's a lot of advantages to being an introvert that I won't get into in this video. Now, in terms of the actual skill itself, there's a ton of different sales-related jobs. You can go into just about any industry or work for any business, but one of them that I'm gonna focus on here is gonna be life insurance sales. And if you look at the ZipRecruiter Skills Index, you'll see that life insurance sales has a score of 78 out of 100 which is really good now one thing i always say is you know any sales job is great but if you can get a sales job in an industry where there's a lot of opportunity that's going to be even better and life insurance sales i mean if you look at the cost per click for instance on google adsense you'll see it is absolutely ridiculous it's like 55 dollars yes that means every single time you click one of those ads that you see scrolling down google if it has to do with life insurance it costs the company 55 dollars and that 
it doesn't matter whether you buy it or not. And to be fair, there are a lot of sketchy people who try to sell life insurance to people who don't need it. Most people would be perfectly fine just getting term insurance instead of the much more expensive life insurance, but of course, a lot of these salesmen will try to sell you on the whole life. But that's besides the point because the number one job that almost every billionaire has had is a sales job. So no matter what career path you're going down, I highly recommend that you get a sales job at some point because it will enrich your life in ways that you can't even imagine. It will help you financially, but it also has helped me to be a better healthcare professional. It's helped me to be a better communicator. And yes, it will probably help you talking to girls as well. So there's a lot of bonuses. Next on the list, we're gonna be talking about math related skills. And I know this can be extremely confusing for some people and it can make other people want to fall asleep. But the truth is, if you are somebody who's good at math or you like math, there is going to be a ton of opportunity out there for you. So there's a lot of different math related skills, of course, but according to the ZipRecruiter Skills Index, analytical skills comes in ranking 86 out of 100, which is excellent. Now, of course, understanding basic mathematics is pretty much necessary for being an adult, even better if you understand how to budget and kind of plan things out. However, understanding more complicated mathematics is even better because if you think about it, math is sort of like the language of the universe. It's a logical representation of reality and it's kind of like the building blocks of how you understand nature. So a better way of thinking about mathematics is how to solve logical problems rather than just crunching numbers. However, I will say that some of the math related degrees, at least the stuff that you learn in school, isn't necessarily going to be directly applicable to many of the careers out there. So sometimes it might be a little bit difficult for you to get your first job, but once you get your foot in the door, you get some job experience, you should be good to go. And a lot of the time, people who have math skills will end up working in technology. Next on the list, we're gonna be talking about business-related skills. And specifically, I'm gonna be focusing on management and leadership. Now, we've all seen these clickbait thumbnails about teenagers <laughs> making $50,000 a month. And of course, they are gonna be selling some kind of program so they can teach you how to do it too. And these are usually gonna be for skills skills like drop shipping, day trading, or some other type of get rich quick scheme. So there is a lot of bad information out there, but a lot of the time you are gonna find that there is a grain of truth in many of the things that they say. Business skills are extremely valuable and they can lead you to wild success even at an early age sometimes. So I looked it up and here are a few of the most valuable business related skills that you can learn according to the ZipRecruiter Skills Index. Business process management scores 86 out of 100 and project planning scores 86 out of 100 as well. Now it's hard to call business a skill just because of the fact that so many different skills fall under the umbrella term of business and it's more of a skill set if anything but if you look at the ones that specifically make really good money it always goes back to management and leadership. When you look at the careers that make the most money you're going to see that managers and chief executives make up a significant amount of the top 99th percentile as well as 90th percentile. Now the 99th percentile is $207,000 and above, and the 90th is 103,000 to 207,000. And if you look up census data on how much people make with different degrees, you're gonna see that people with all degrees and all different types of professions make around $2.4 million over a lifetime, but if they go into management, they make significantly more at around 3.2 million. And of course, if you are able to start your own successful business, that would be even higher than just about what any career out there could pay you. And the great thing about business skills is they're useful in just about any industry, any company, and any profession out there. They transfer really well and they also combine well with all other types of skills. If you have really good business skills, you can become an entrepreneur and start a successful business in just about anything from art to video games to pretty much whatever you could think of. But on this list, I'm mostly focusing on skills that lead you to directly making money, AKA business owners and hiring managers are thirsty for these skills. They're looking for people that have these types of skill sets. And a lot of the time, if you start your own business, it will take you years of working on it and you'll probably fail a few times before you find success. Success. And so for that reason, when it comes to getting a job, when it comes to skills that will directly lead you to making money, I did have two others that ranked a little bit higher on this list. But keep in mind that time plus skills, like educating yourself, like you're doing right now, equals value. And also keep in mind that having high income skills, in my opinion, 
is even more important than having a high income job. Because anybody can get lucky and maybe they know somebody and they get them into a really good job. But if you have high income skills, pretty much every company out there is gonna wanna hire you. And then you're gonna have as many options as you want when it comes to jobs, or maybe you wanna start a business on the side so you don't have to worry. Number two on the list is going to be health related skills. And you're probably a little bit surprised to see this one here. Now this is the one that I chose as my profession and there's a story behind this that I've never actually told. When I was younger, my dad had a heart attack and this basically sparked a fascination in me and all kinds of things to do with medical. Specifically, I was fascinated with the medications that he was taking that were keeping him alive. And because of this fascination, I got really interested in how drugs worked on the body and how the body worked on drugs. And I became really passionate about becoming a pharmacist. So ever since I was a teenager, it was my dream to become a pharmacist and I did end up achieving that goal. And to make a long story short, you should never go for a skill just because it pays well. You wanna make sure that it's something that interests you. There's something that maybe you're a little bit talented at and there's demand on the market for it and also something that you enjoy. But basically your future starts today, not tomorrow. Try a bunch of stuff, especially if you're young watching this, figure out what you actually enjoy doing and then just do it. Now, when it comes to skills, health related skills were pretty much everywhere at the top of the list. And just to give a few examples, basic life support came in at 87 out of 100, patient care was 86, and health insurance was 84 out of 100. If you look at BLS, healthcare related occupations are growing faster than any other type of career out there at 15% over the next 10 years. On top of that, healthcare related occupations make about 68, $69,000 a year, which is nearly double the median annual wage for all types of occupations out there. And I think one of the big selling points when it comes to healthcare related careers is they're relatively future proof. I mean, if you think about it, there's a lot of healthcare related careers out there that it pretty much doesn't matter what ends up happening in the world people will always need other people to take care of them if they get sick. So it's an extremely safe job, and on top of being extremely safe, it's also growing much faster than average, even faster than the next one on the list, which is technology. Number one on the list might be a little bit of a meme on this channel at this point, but it's going to be technology related skills. And it's simply because of the fact that it's pretty much the hottest thing right now. If you take a skill like sales or marketing, it's pretty much gonna be good no matter what period of time you're in, uh, You know, whether it's a thousand years ago or a thousand years in the future, it's always going to be a relatively valuable skill. However, technology related skills and specifically computer programming and coding is extremely valuable right Right now. There is so much opportunity in technology, it's advancing ridiculously fast and there's simply not enough people who have these skills. Now if you look at technology related occupations as a whole, it's growing at about 11% over the next 10 years, which is the second highest out of all different types of occupations, only behind health. However, the median annual wage is quite a bit higher than health at around $88,000 a year. And this median annual wage blows every other type of occupation out of the water, it's not even close. And if you look at the skills index again, eight out of the top 15 on this list are all technology related skills. You've got software engineering, net programming skills, software deployment, application development, web services skills, information technology, software development, and Python programming skills. Yeah, totally just ridiculous. Wait, what, what's that? Oh, I'm getting a phone call from the judges. That's right, it's locked in and confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. This is the number one type of skill. And it's not just technology related jobs specifically, even just working in the tech industry, a lot of the jobs you can get there are going to pay quite a bit better than average. So an example of this is let's say you work as a salesman. If you work in the technology industry, chances are you're probably gonna get paid quite a bit more than the average salesman. And software development, computer programming, coding, all that sort of thing, it is super hot right now. And if you can have that skill and then add something else on top of it, I mean, it's gonna be difficult to not become a millionaire. You can make a ridiculous amount of money. You have amazing benefits. You get stock incentives and bonuses. It's totally ridiculous. You see videos on YouTube of people who make over $500,000 a year. And it's not just the almighty tech lead himself. You can also look at sites like levels.fyi where people freely post how much they're making in different types of jobs all across the country and sometimes even all across the world. Every like 30 minutes or so, someone is gonna have a new job posting and I don't think I've ever seen someone say that they're making less than $100,000. So if you're looking 
looking at just one skill, one skill, and that's what this video is all about, that can consistently get you to six figures, it's gotta be learning how to code. Sure, there's other skills that can get you to six figures as well. They might require a little bit of luck and they might even be able to scale higher, right? Like, you know, if you get really good at sales or marketing, maybe you can make millions of dollars a year when you start your own business. But if you're looking at one skill that just about anybody can learn that companies are just like frothing at the mouth to hire people for, it's coding, it's tech. And then if you stack multiple skills, oh man, it's pretty much free real estate. So just as a bonus, let's talk about a few that I thought were really good that didn't quite make the list. And some of these were pretty surprising to me and they're probably gonna surprise you as well. And the first one I wanna talk about is gonna be trucking. So trucking actually scored 81 out of 100 on this list, which is fantastic, especially considering the fact that you pretty much don't have to have any education, you just have to be certified. So a lot of the time, if you want to become a trucker, you can do it within like three months. Now, obviously there's gonna be some downsides to this one, but when it comes to how much you can make based off of how much education or how long it's gonna take you to make that money, it's hard to beat trucking. Now, it's not some kind of easy button or magic pill or anything like that, but if we are talking about the easiest one to get you to six figures, the one with the most opportunity, this has got to be it. Now, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and gently push the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. I love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Uh, maybe there's some skills that you thought should have been on the list that I didn't mention. Let me know down below. And before you leave, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.